Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Matchbox Monday episode where we take a look at yeah, five or so. This this one's a particular one's going to have six. Uh, castings from, well, five castings, two or a variation. Anyway, from Matchbox's yesteryear, ranging from the late 60s all the way up to the early 90s, depending on what we end up grabbing here. And um, we're just going to start. So uh, here it is, number 69. This is a 33 Willys Street Rod. Open it up. And this one should probably bring back memories for a lot of folks that watch my channel and the age range that watches it. Um, so this was, I mean, the particular casting was used from 82 to 97 in various uh, uh, colorways and whatnot. Uh, this blue-white heat one is from 83 all the way up to 92. I definitely had one of these when I was a kid. It's in 150th scale. And I totally remember having one of these as a kid and thinking it was cool. And I think I had another variation of it too, which was like the reverse colors of it. I think it was white with the blue printing. Uh, but just one of those more iconic 80s matchbox cars. This one is a metal base, metal body. And just definitely remember having it as a kid, so this one's just kind of cool to me. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. It's not the greatest Matchbox casting ever, but it's not in the best era ever, but it is, you know, probably nostalgic for a lot of people that are in my age range, so that is pretty cool. So there is that one. And let's see here. Moving on, we're going to do two 62 Corvettes. I've got two of them here. Uh, we'll start with this one. So this one's kind of similar to the other one in the way it is. Here, this we got the blue flame here on this one. Uh, so this one was 84 to 85. The casting was used from 82 all the way up to 97. It's in 158 scale. Yeah, it's just your basic older Corvette casting. This one's got a lot of suspension travel. It does have a metal base, metal body. Um, it's in pretty good shape except for like the back wheels on it are a little mangled on it I wonder if it came out of the factory like that because that is just weird that it's got this scuffing going on the same uh, Kind of on both back wheels of the back axle So which leads me to believe because of the way that this collection was taken care of I don't think this car was ever really played with um, It leads me to believe that that's kind of how it just came was defective like that so pretty interesting and then the other colorway of it that we're going to take a look at is this one here. Uh, this one's blue. This is this version was 1982. Pretty basic. I think it looks a lot better than the white one. Um, just in the colorway it is. The blue with the white accenting. And the wheels look very cool. They're the older super fast wheels. And of course metal body, metal base again. Some suspension. I think that one looks pretty good. Pretty cool. This isn't really the uh, generation of Corvette that I'm a huge fan of, but I think that these looked all right. And definitely a necessary casting for Matchbox of that time. Um, another one. This one is actually really cool. This is uh, 19, uh, 1972. This is number 72. Uh, this casting was available from 87 all the way up to 95. This particular version was 87 to 88 to 160 a scale. And it is a Cadillac Alante. This casting was also in their laser wheels lineup, which I do have the laser wheel version of it. But this one's got a lot of suspension in it. And I love how this particular area of Matchbox, these castings were built with these wheels. A lot of them kind of had some lens detail as this one does. It's got kind of inserts in the back here. It's part of the interior, but at least it's a separate piece kind of, and it looks kind of cool. Um, and then the plastic little line there, that's part of the interior that separates the base kind of from the body or whatever. That looks really neat. I mean, it does have a plastic base, but it's got like a metal um, like chassis underneath the plastic. So it, they're constructed interesting. So that, that is kind of a neat thing about it. Uh, it's made in Macau. 1987, again, lots of suspension, pretty nice rectangular car, and definitely, definitely a cool one, I, I like it, I like it quite a bit, so I think that's pretty awesome, so that is, I guess, the uh, fourth car we're going to look at, we still have two more to go, though, um, 
Next up, we got the Maxi Taxi. This is an older one. Uh, it's an older, kind of a new 72 Maxi Taxi. Uh, the Maxi Taxi was available 1982 to 84. This is the version from 82 to 83. You could have found it like this. Um, let me go ahead and open it up. And here is your Maxi Taxi. So it is definitely maximum. I'm pretty sure this is a Ford Escort, like the older Escort RS. It's got kind of that wishbone look up in the front there. And then uh, it does say Ford right there, yeah. So it does say Ford right there. So that's, that's definitely probably what it was. Uh, it is really, really cool. It is a Rollomatic actually, and it's from, what does it say here? Does it say scale on it? Did I say the scale already? Scale is 159 scale. So there's your Rollomatic aspect of it. So one of the front wheels has the, uh, the thing that hits the motor and it makes the motor move up and down as the thing would go down the track. So give it some play value. It's also got a trailer hitch, which is odd or whatever. And it's got a little bit of suspension to it as well. Overall, pretty cool little car. Or is this a Chevy bag? Or it can't be a Chevy, it's a Ford. What am I thinking? Anyway, if you know what it is, let me know. I mean, these are made in England, so it might not have been a unit. Oh, this one's made in Hong Kong. Never mind, I'm totally wrong. But it is a Ford. And whatever it is, it's kind of neat. Maxi Taxi. 10 cents each mile, so 90 cents for the first one to 10 miles, maybe. I don't know, whatever. It's pretty cool. I like it. So that's that one. And then lastly for this episode, we've got the number 72, the Plane Transporter. So this is an interesting one. Uh, this was available from... 85 to 86, which is the version we're going to look at. And then I believe it was like retooled or used again from 99 to 2000. I don't know what the newer one looked like, but this is the older one. And definitely an interesting little piece here. Uh, the scale, it's in 1 to 150th scale. So this thing, I guess, transports a jet. And it is pretty neat looking. So the jet comes off. And then this has got a plastic base. This is made in Macau. Which the made in Macau stuff is a cool era of Matchbox. I don't care what you say. I think it's kind of cool. So we got the plastic plane. Pretty basic. It's all plastic. And then, of course, this with the metal body and a plastic base. But just a... I mean, that, come on, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Plane fits in there, the wheels fit in there perfect. Got a rescue on the side. I wonder if it can drive fast enough that the plane could just take off right out of the back. I don't think so, but uh, kind of neat. Kind of a neat piece. So again, that just harkens to the, the, the part that is interesting about Matchbox is they, do, they did some weird stuff over the years and just made it a very interesting brand. And in my opinion, somewhat more interesting than Hot Wheels. So really cool to look at these vintage pieces. Thank you guys very much for watching another Matchbox Monday episode. Please check out my playlist and all the other good stuff and like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much.